Plus, we take a look at just how much Republican candidates are spending for their campaigns as the primary draws near. Your news. This is Fox 56 News at 630. Good evening. The fire that has closed trails at one of Kentucky's favorite state parks is still a long way from being under control. Danielle Miskell has more on the progress being made at Natural Bridge. Hiking trails in the state park are still closed. The lodge, however, is open. Well, we're enjoying the warmer days and breezy, breezy weather, but the firefighters there would certainly like to see some rain. Yeah, so how soon will it be back in the forecast? Let's check in with meteorologist Justin Esterly. Justin. Justin, thank you. Kentucky State Police are investigating a deadly crash that happened yesterday in Wayne County. Troopers say 69-year-old William Henderson and 53-year-old Charles Simpson died at the scene. Two others were taken to Wayne County Hospital with minor injuries. The accident remains under investigation. In an effort to get more donors, the Kentucky Blood Center is reminding people that it's not a time-consuming experience. Staff saying they will work to ensure that you're healthy enough to donate and make the experience as painless as possible even providing snacks if needed. From the time you walk in our doors until the time you leave, whether it's at our donor center or mobile drive, really only takes about 30 to 45 minutes. Um, it, the, the actual blood donation part of where you're sitting in the bed giving blood only takes about 8 to 12 minutes. The rest of the time is for, you know, answering health history questions, making sure you've got some food in your system, making sure you're healthy and able to donate. Kentucky Blood Center says donating just once can save up to eight lives and you can donate every 56 days. Lexington City Council is looking at the long-term future of the city, unveiling the first draft of their latest plan, setting the direction for the city's growth and development for the next 20 years. The theme of the plan is Imagine Lexington. How will Lexington grow in the coming decades? The comprehensive plan proposes policies to help its people and its economy thrive in years to come. But council members say in order for the plan to fully succeed, they want to hear from you. Every person that, that makes their voice heard in any way, shape, or form, whether it's calling, whether it's writing, emailing, coming to public hearing, um, and speaking out about these issues, I genuinely believe that those, you know, one, one to five minutes of your time can make an impact on your future and your kids' future and your family's future. You can read the full first draft of the plan inside this story on fox56news.com. A lot of money is riding on the Kentucky governor's race less than a month out from the primary. We're seeing the spending spree from candidates hoping to get the nomination. Bodie Brooks explains what's behind the numbers. Bodie. Distillery is welcoming visitors to explore its arboretum and botanical gardens. Peyton Hinkle has a first-hand look at the popular tour and tasting. All right, Justin, thank you, thank you and thank you for watching. News at 7's up next. We'll see you then.